this was a, a, a you know one of those uh, systems ideas where there was not a very clear technical research question at the beginning it was essentially application inspired the application being can i understand what is going on in the roads in my city wherever whichever city you might be in so uh, the idea was sensing had become cheap enough you could get gps receivers you could get accelerometers and you could build embedded devices with some wireless connectivity for you know a couple of hundred dollars uh, today you can build all of that in under probably 20 to 25 30 dollars but in those days it was you know possible to build without a huge expenditure you could, a research project could raise money to do it and i just had this idea that you could put it on cars and measure. So first we just put it and put it on a, my car and a couple of other cars. We started measuring how long it was taking to travel on every little road segment that we travel. Then a couple of years later, we partnered with some local taxi companies. I had a postdoc, Jacob Erickson, who had come in and he was all excited about this project. And we partnered with local taxi companies in Boston to put these devices uh, as well as we had also built some technology on like Nokia phones and you know which before smartphones this was in the pre-smartphone era right before 2007 so it's 2004 5 6 uh, and in 2007 2008 we uh, took the cartel thing we had written some academic papers on the system architecture for transportation and uh, understanding vehicle dynamics and we uh, built a system a project called the pothole patrol we had a high frequency accelerometer to measure vibration and GPS to get velocity position. And we would publish on a daily basis, a website where we would say the top 50 worst roads in Boston, okay, okay. automatically. And the idea was we could use, cities could use this and civil infrastructure, people could use this to determine where to go fix the roads. Right. And it's opportunistically done. So it's not like you send out people and so on. And it's being done in a way that the roads that people are getting hit by the most, the places, the potholes that are affecting cars the most are the ones that are going to get ranked high and those are the ones you have to go fix. You should fix the roads that cause the most damage where right. you see the damage from an accelerometer from the, from the sensors. So this project was one of the three or four papers we wrote and like the other cartel papers, it got a lot of publicity, but this one got written up in the press, Boston Globe, Wall Street Journal wrote about it too. And that was really exciting. Around 2009, I started reading about companies in the US, insurance companies in the US, as well as Italy, had invested in expensive hardware to measure driving quality, to be able to set insurance prices uh, and I was also taken by the idea that if you did all this on mobile, which is what my research, our research had been able to show, we could scale this out to big volumes. And mobile means phones, but it also means inexpensive Internet of Things devices with right. sensors on that I knew we could bring the price of those, uh, the price was coming down, we could build these devices. So I started, uh, co-founded a company with my colleague Sam and uh, my another colleague, Bill Powers. He's uh, he's not an academic, but he, he had a business background. So we co-founded a company, uh, which today is Cambridge Mobile Telematics, to commercialize this technology. And uh, over the last decade or so, we've been very fortunate to partner with leading insurance companies, rideshare companies, and now automakers as well, 